Hey guys, it's Matt, Sorect, and welcome to Let's Play RS, episode number 8. Uh, today, I got two very important topics to talk to you about, which include uh, the Grand Exchange and some money-making tactics or uh, methods that could result of the prices currently on the Grand Exchange, as well as the big vote uh, for my 70 defense or to uh, stay 50 defense. And if you want to skip to the topic of your choice during this video, just hit those skip annotations right on the screen. Uh, before I begin, I just want to uh, give you a quick rundown of what you're seeing on screen. been slaying all day, uh, been doing some slayer um, assignments and tasks, and I got 82 in this first clip, and you'll see me handing in some EXP books from the Combat Academy and from Diango in the second clip, um, and then I continued slaying from there on out. So anyway, let's begin with the first topic, and that is the Grand Exchange. So right now, a lot of the items are out of whack. You have Dragon Claws pretty much dropping all the way down to like 1.2 mil, and then you have Master Wands skyrocketing to well over 20 mil apiece. Um, and that being said, um, prior to the evolution of combat, I know a lot of people took advantage of instinctively investing in certain items, such as the Master Wand, because, you know, if, let's just take that for example. The Master Wand is the only, or one of the only, one-handed mage uh, weapons that you can purchase off the Grand Exchange. And, you know, the reason why you would need a one-handed mage weapon would be to use it with a shield. Um, you know, if you didn't take advantage of investing in items like that, that would have automatically gone up in price due to the EOC, like, I didn't do that because I'm kind of stupid and I wasn't thinking... Uh, that a lot of these items would skyrocket to that to that point. Um, but that being said, how do you get a Master Wand? How do you get any item that's skyrocketing right now? Um, for instance, the Master Wand, you can get those by training at the Mage Training Arena and farming Pizzazz points. And I'm not sure what the current rate is, but I can pretty much guarantee you it's not going to take 20 hours to get a Master Wand. Um, so, you know... At the moment, I would assume that that money-making method is at least three to four mil per hour. Um, if you farm all the points and then you just trade them all in and get that uh, master wand. Uh, but that being said, uh, that's all I got to say about that topic. The master wand is a an extreme example, but you have other items like the Zart bow and even god swords and certain barrow sets just going crazy, crazy high prices right now um, but you know you would only be able to anticipate that if you studied up on the EOC and a lot of us did not do that um, but there is still room there uh, to cash in on some nice profit and do some great money making methods um, I'm gonna be doing more research into these methods uh, tomorrow and the next day and if I find one that's really concrete and not uh, radical and not um, fluctuating that much I will definitely make a guide on that but anyway let's move on to the second topic and the more serious topic that relates to my channel and the future of my content and that is the big vote so the big vote had to do with me either getting 70 defense or staying 50 defense and I know it's a big question and I know it kinda of will probably stir up a huge conversation or argument in the comments below I really ask you guys not to have the argument um, and I really do respect your vote. Honestly, I do. Either way, um, I would have respect the vote itself, and I would have gone with what you guys um, wanted. I, I believe that if there is a big decision, and I have no idea uh, what the right answer is, I leave it up to you guys. And I will do that from now on. Uh, and that's why I posed the question to you guys directly, instead of just going out and getting 70 defense. Um, 9 out of 10 of you agree uh, with, I guess, my philosophy or what I was thinking about getting 70 defense, opening up a box of content and accessing certain things that I wasn't able to access before. Um, and I'm psyched, honestly. I'm going to be getting 70 defense. I'm not sure if I'm going to start tomorrow or uh, in a couple of days. Um, I'm going to leave the vote open just in case some extreme thing happens and a lot of you guys say stay 50 defense, but it looks like a lot of you have, have agreed with... I guess what I was thinking there um, but that being said what am I technically losing if I got 70 defense well I'm losing the berserker pure status well I kinda lost that already I got 50 defense so I'm not really a berserker pure anymore I'm now back to being a rune pure by EOC standards um, 
And really, there's no other cons. I'm just going to be providing a lot more content to you. Um, and a lot more exciting and engaging content, more guides, I'll be able to access more things, I'll be able to strategize more, get you guys on the same page that I'm on, get you guys on the same wavelength with making money, uh, learning the abilities, getting all the great uh, fixtures of the EOC like I am right now. Honestly, I, I'll be honest with you, I am enjoying it. Um, it's different. It took me a couple of days really to get used to it. There were times in which I was just frustrated and I was not understanding why things were not working properly, but to be honest with you, I'm I'm enjoying it and I really really want to access certain parts of the game and I want to just push forward. Now, I understand you guys are saying like, well Matt, doesn't that mean you're going to get 99 defense eventually? And the answer is probably, but not for a long time. Um, it's been 18 months since I started, and I plan on not becoming a max main or going for other skills like, or, or other things like the completionist cape or max cape for a long time, and I may never even go for the things like that. So 70 defense really will be the mark I'm going to stay at uh, for a long time, maybe a year, you know, maybe even longer. Who knows? I may never get 99 defense. If I don't see the need for it, then... I probably won't, but you never know what's going to be coming. There could be some crazy updates and crazy armor, and it could help my content further. It could help me propel myself uh, to getting, I don't know, 30 kills in an inventory, hypothetically, who knows. But um, I'm just here to have fun, guys. I want to do what's best for you guys, but I also want to enjoy what I'm doing. i got to say uh, real quick, prior to the evolution of combat, I was starting to get bored of RuneScape, and... Um, to be honest with you, I was doing the same things over and over again. Same commentary style, which, by the way, you guys love, and I'm going to continue to do that anyway. But, uh, safing, using the Chaotic Maul to Karasi, uh, tellying away, uh, doing the same gear setups. Uh, and it, it just got boring. I know a lot of you guys got bored of it, and you were telling me to switch it up. And I was getting a lot of hate for safing and a lot of crazy... It was just getting pretty, pretty crazy towards the end. And a lot of it had to do with just the update coming in general and it, it, a lot of tensions and everything like that. And I, all I got to say is, guys, um, I want to constantly make sure that I'm providing unique and entertaining content. Whether that be a guide, whether that be this Let's Play RS where I'm just rant... Not really ranting, just talking and speaking my mind. Um, I talk about... Uh, anything or I, I do a commentary or do a video or a montage uh, I just want to again make sure that I'm entertaining you guys and I'm not just keeping you here along for the ride I want to really want to make sure you guys are enjoying what you're watching and listening to and honestly um, I'll talk ab about this more in a future video but you know I'm planning on moving on to other other games I'm not going to be quitting RuneScape at all, but I might make another channel and upload other content, bonus content, if you guys like to see uh, other stuff. You know, I've been getting a lot of feedback in my French chat. Those of you that join my French chat, and by the way, I recommend you guys join because I really talk to you guys and I try to I get um, your opinions on a lot of things, and I might ask you guys questions, and you know, we, we may do some community events uh, together. But I've been asking you guys questions like, you know, what kind of uh, games would you like to see from me? You know, I play other games besides RuneScape. I've been playing this game for a long time, but I've been playing other games. Who who plays one game? I mean, everybody plays a lot of games. Um, and, uh, you know, you guys seem to like my commentary style, my voice, my personality, and, um, you know, my brother, he's getting into YouTube, and, you know, we were thinking about starting up our own channel on the side to do, you know, our own thing on the side. Uh, in addition to RuneScape and things like that. Um, I know you guys know about my brother and you know about my cat and you know about my family and stuff, but, um, you know, there's uh, a lot of room for growth and a lot of room to explore new things. And that's why I feel like it all comes back to me, first off, getting 70 defense. Let's not get carried away. Um, but that being said, guys, if you have not voted yet and you want to vote, um, your vote counts. And honestly, if something happens and you guys say, Matt, just stay d 50 defense, um, I don't want you to get 70 defense, uh, then by all means, uh, go ahead and vote. Uh, a comment's not going to do it for me. Right now, I'm just looking at the votes, and right now, it really just seems overwhelmingly powerful to get to that. Uh, 
70 defense. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Uh, be sure to uh, like and favorite this video if you enjoyed my talk, as well as leave a comment. Either way, guys, um, I really enjoy producing content for you. As always, have a good one, guys, and peace out.